Here they are. Jeff, Jonathan, and Michael from Kalatagan. The three of them now helping one another to repair our planting area. So, uh, welcome again to the Echo Backyard Farm. This is uh, an episode just after uh, Typhoon Glenda. So, we already, we're practically back to normal because the, the roofing we already fixed. Yes. And uh, we're doing uh, the chores yeah. now of cleaning up. Yeah, but there's still, there's still some work to be done though. But yeah. anyhow, yeah. we're getting there. Yeah, so what I'm doing now is cleaning the water pumps from our aquaponic system. It's just yes. a regular thing, like every three months because mm. it gets filled up. You can see here. Yeah. It gets filled up oh, yes. with the uh, fish gunk. Mm. So you need to uh, clean it up, disassemble it, and flush it out. Yeah. So I'll be doing this for all the water pumps at the aquaponics area and uh, we're going to run it and flush it all out all right okay that's good now it's time to plant again french beans it has been long time that we did not plant french beans because of the attack of the spider mites because that was too hot at that time now the weather is changing again it's raining and we believe that maybe it's good to start again. Yes, because spider mice do not like humidity. But yes, that's right. Mm. So or, that's why. or yeah, or when it is too dry and too hot, they have to suck a lot in order to keep themselves, you know, going. And then they multiply very fast. But now that it's humid, right? They don't need to do that so much. Right. So let's. We will. I will invite you to come to our. Aquaponics area. Okay. But not all beds, not all beds will be planted because as you can see, yes. some, bed, some beds are planted with everyday flowers. Yes. Which is a good change also because we had been planting this with uh, with French beans. Now yeah. it's nice to change a little yeah. bit. To change for a, to for change a few for a, while, uh, for a few, few weeks. Months, so. Yeah. And then but the rest, this one here, had been already idle for quite some time. So now this is the one that we utilize yes. to plant the French beans. And you, you already started I'm planting. I'm already here, up there. Are you already here? Yes. Ah. You can see it here. Ah, yes. Minoji, here. This one there, there. Oh, but you cannot see it too well. Yes. There. There. Wait a moment, where is that again? Ah, there, that there, one. there, I see, yes. Mm -hmm. There also. And there's another one there, also. yes. So I will start mm -hmm. here until the yes. end. Yes. So that soon we will have French beans again. Yes. Because they are very nice. Yes. Yeah. And uh, I know you're putting back your your pump that is clean. Yeah. Good. I'm going to flush it out later, the, the lines. Yeah. By pinching it. I'm going to show you later. Yeah. So in the meantime, I will go back at the back because I have a lot of things to be done there. See you guys. All right. So I just finished uh, cleaning all the water pumps, and now it's time to flush out the hose. If yeah. You see here our hoses that connect the garden hose to the pump is full of ridges. Mm -hmm. So what we do is just keep the pump submerged and squeeze it, mm. and from time to time. Yes. You will see the dirt come out. Well, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's the dirt from the fish that got stuck. Yeah, yeah, on yeah, the yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's also good for our plants here in the plant bed mm. because that's biodegradable material. Mm -hmm. yeah, Unlike yeah. other uh, aquaponic systems or practitioners. They can uh, plant any crop that they want. You know why? It's because uh, aside from the water from the fish, they would uh, 
uh, stir up a concoction of uh, mineralized uh, nutrients for our plants. So they put that concoction together with the fish water. Mm. So when it pumps, the, the uh, plants get the, what they call this? Uh, yeah, the phosphor, potassium. Yeah, the mineralized one. Yeah, but that's not really but that's good. That's not yet. organic. <laughs> No. So what we do here is we do not advise that you should plant anything in your aquaponic system. Anything that you, you that would come to mind. Because you should consider all the factors involved. Your climate, the humidity. So what we do is we try to look for the hiang plant, the plant that grows nicely in your mm. aquaponic system. And you try to uh, go from there and uh, what we did here is uh, our young plant in our aquaponic system is uh, French beans but according to mama and papa a while back uh, summertime was not really that much uh, summertime was not really a very good time for the French beans because of the uh, spider mites so what we did was to plant mm. other crops here just to confuse yes, flowers. Yeah. Flowers first flowers just to confuse the spider mites. But then I wonder if we would put a banana trunk in the water here, you know, uh, of the fish, yeah. TSH rich in potassium and phosphor. But the thing mm. here is we try to maintain the water quality. Yeah, of course, but so yeah, but uh, the plants also need phosphor and potassium. Yeah. This makes them more hard. But otherwise you can spray with, uh, uh, how do you call that, compost extract. Yeah. Directly on, on, the the leaves. Leaves. Yeah, on the directly leaves. on the plants. Directly on the plants. Not do not put that together with no. your your no. fish. Because yeah, you, yeah, it is, uh, on the leaves only. Yeah, the leaves it's folia, going to have folia, a, yeah. Folia, I know. Yeah, because yes. plants also absorb through the leaves and yes. the stems. Mm, yes. And do not do not <laughs> include that with your fish water. Believe yeah. us it's going to affect the health oh, of yeah. your tilapia or your fish. Mm. Alright. What are you doing there, Ma? I'm going to use this kamote leaves for our vegetables this morning. They're so healthy, they're so good. And it's a potato to use this. Yeah, because kamote leaves, there are different varieties of kamote. Those are... Uh, the red ones, yeah. variety. Yeah, and that's uh, edible, the leaves. Of course. And they're indigenous to our country, so... Might as well have them at the farm. They're very healthy. Yes. All right. You can see? Beautiful. Let's have a close up. Yeah. see here. Look at that. What a beauty! All right. Yes. Look at our formerly beautiful <laughs> Baguio beans. Yeah, so, they suffered from the wind. <laughs> Destroyed by the typhoon. Yes, but we're going to save, yeah. to, to harvest some of the seeds. With a, yeah. You can't just pull it off, you know. No, I don't want to break it. Yeah. Just going to win seeds. But you have to let it dry so they're a little bit, a little bit on the wet side. Yeah, uh, but just let them dry and yeah. it will be all good. Mm. So, our Baguio beans, this strain of Baguio beans that we have, have been with us since yes. mid 90s or late 90s. Yeah, I got them from Old Cano. Yeah, here nearby. See, the Mang Freddy. Yeah. Old uh, Cano here uh, a bit farther. Before his his farm was called the Blue Screen Farm. Yeah, uh, but uh, but he died already. Yeah, God rest his soul. Yeah, <laughs> well, he's a good dude. Yeah, but a little bit of a lasting hero. <laughs> <laughs> Regarded. But, but okay, no, man. We, he was a nice have, man. We was, all have our perks. Yeah, but he was a nice man. That's what makes life yeah. colorful. But yes. anyway, we're going to have a recap of the hmm. uh, crops that we still have. Yes. And uh, if you go or focus on that side of the farm, right the moment. you uh, will go. see it's all barren. <laughs> yeah, well, we have except to replant. For, except for a few uh, Lolorosa. Yeah, we have some Lolo Rosa here. At least some that survived. Yeah, most of them were blown away. Yes, here. Yeah, at least they, they, they somehow survived still. Yeah. 
Well, they, they don't uh, look so bad here in the beginning, but farther up, yeah, they suffered. They were blown up. Mm. And we still yeah. have a bit of uh, romaine lettuce. Yeah, over wait, here. I will take a look here. Yeah, they also food. serve it, but you know, we can, they're still good. Yeah, we can still salvage. harvest, you know. Yeah, and we still have kale yes. there. And there we have kale, yes. Those are, uh, they, they were quite safe, those. Yeah. We still have a little here. bit of our, here also. oh. Yeah, because here. Mama uprooted the okra a while Okra, back. so we still have some extra okra. Yes, this is the last okra that we could get. Yeah. Because everything <laughs> was... If everything fell down because of the typhoon, but yet we could still harvest that much. Yes, yes. Yeah. Every time we came here, we only stopped harvesting. Harvest is still a bit, you know. And our celery... Oh, the celery is, is okay, yeah, eh? But, they, but they after, really... after the typhoon, they were all uh, flat. But they, they just, bounced back nicely, yeah. uh, look Mom, at that. Mama just put them all up. Wait a the moment, I will go a little bit closer. Yeah. And the arugula? Yes, look at that. Oh, they, they are okay. Yeah. They're doing fine. And the arugula, arugula bit by bit, yeah. they, they're picking up. They were all flat as well. Yes, they're picking up. And uh, you can see there, we ratooned again the jalapenos. The jalapenos. Because they all fell yeah. down. My, my favorite artichoke yeah. suffered, lost some of, of, his, of his feathers, yeah. but still doing all right. Yeah. And there's still celery also here. We still have a little of the French tarragon there. We still have talilong. Tarragon, oh yeah, talilong that survives everything. Eh? Yeah, and if you follow us here, <laughs> look, look, before a, there was a tent here. Yes, yes. And it was blown away and th that's the yeah, remainder that's just, of it. That's <laughs> we don't know where the other part is. There's a big pepper. Yeah, here, here. You harvest that one. Guys. Mm. Here we oh, yeah. These were all flat as well. Yes, and, but, but we still, still have somehow a, a pepper. Yeah, and, the and the yes. eggplant is already giving Spare. flowers. Look yeah. at ah. there. There yes. are flowers there already. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Eggplant. Yes. Wait a moment. Can I focus a bit? Yes. 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 Ah, Although yeah. they were flattened by the, the And we still have uh, ah. this are yellow, turmeric. yellow ginger. Turmeric. And we yes. have there the, the regular the ginger. 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 Ginger, yes. And the and so we continue. We even have celestial celery there. <laughs> celery. It's still there. Oh, oh they kind of survived. Yeah. They're, they're yeah. quite exposed to the sun now, but uh, yeah, it's okay. It's, it's, okay. okay. it's, it's, uh, it's not, it's not so hot anymore now. Even, so even the ampalaya that was being covered here by the by yeah. the fiberglass. Look at that. They are growing nicely. Because this was covered by that. all the yeah. fiberglass that blew off That's the roof. Off. So they are picking up again also. Here, look, the, the two. Yeah. There are two that are also growing nicely yeah. there. Okay, that's it's great. It's advisable to, to plant Ampalaya outdoors, this time. especially mm -hmm. when it's rainy season because you will get rid of the fruit flies. Fruit fruit flies. flies. Have less fruit if fruit flies. you buy your Ampalaya, I'm not going to mention where, uh, I don't know if you've noticed, while you're cooking it, it uh, creates Some bubbles. <laughs> Great <laughs> bubbles. You know yeah. why that happens? Because at your regular farm market or uh, uh, commercial farm, they have uh, a tub full of. Uh, we do not know what it is. Uh, what, what it, it, it's it's definitely chemical fertilizer. So they go no. fruit by fruit. It's fruit not fertilizer. It's it's it's, it's pesticide. It's pesticide, yeah. No, yeah they do that with this. eggplants and, uh, and ampalaya. ampalaya. Yeah. Those are two crops that are susceptible to fruit flies. Yes. And over there, we still have. Our uh, sayote. sayote. Yes. A few weeks time, they're going to also give fruits. It's the yeah. right time now to plant them. And yeah. It's good that uh, Typhoon Glenda blew a lot of things away from the farm, including the pests. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's yeah, it's a matter of so, uh, having a positive outlook. Yeah, yeah. just yes. looking for a positive thing look, out of our uh, marigold. Look, yeah. Yes. Look. Ah, are but the at last, there is a flower. <laughs> Yes. Yes, I have been looking, I have been waiting for those. Yes, very beautiful. Yes, yeah. we should still have. So That's the first out flower. of all yeah. the negativity, we can still find positive things. Oh, yes. sure. All right, yes. especially when on. you know what you're doing. Yes. Life right. goes on. Yeah. Big, uh, the, the beautiful. What are you doing, Pa? And just putting some compost. It's a little bit, it's quite young compost, as you can see. Yeah, but we have all the compost worms here in our planting yeah, and area. They will, they will do the rest of the job. Yeah. 
What are we going to plant here? Uh, French Probably beans. We'll try with French beans. Yeah. We'll and try if we're okra, lucky. Maybe. So French beans over here. Okay, and yeah. okra. So how here. are the two of you? People were worried about you. <laughs> they were asking where the two of you were. So yeah. because of that, Bobby Boucher, you deserve a reward. <laughs> Mm. You can have a piece of chicken. Tito, Wolfie, and oh, Bobby. Mm. Oh, hunk your nose, hunk your nose. Gaducci, Bobby Gaducci. 